that whole phase bites. I think teething is the hardest part. We went through it with our two kids and they did totally different things. We had one who was easy, almost symptom free, didn't fuss a lot, and basically all her teeth popped out at once. The only problem was she was always putting things in her mouth. No, don't touch on it, that's yucky. Then that other kid, of course, we didn't have a video of all the times where he cried inconsolably for hours at a time. Are you teething today? He made sure to do everything he could to make it harder for me as a mom. So you're Alyssa. Yeah. And who is this? This is Abigail. She just turned one in September. And you have almost all your teeth. Almost. Yeah. Oh, she, she, just, she knew what I was saying. She yeah. shot them to me. I want to say probably about six months she started, but she didn't get her first oh tooth until she was about eight or nine months. So it was like three full yes. months of just whining. Just and teething just and no awful. teeth to prove it. Yeah. Ellie's 17 months, right? No, she's 20 months. Pretty sure it was around like five months when she started teething. Did she pop teeth then or was it just like the starting of the symptoms? Um, I think she was, she started the symptoms around five months and then like five and a half months she popped her two bottom teeth first. Calla, she's, Calla, okay. she's 17 months now. 17 months. When did she start teething? Probably around three months. Like okay. I, I noticed it, but she didn't get teeth till like 10 months. So, oh wow. So we like. So you spent seven months just yeah. in the teething phase. What did that look like? We're still in the teething phase. <laughs> I had nieces who popped teeth at five months and eight months. And then my own kids didn't get teeth until they were almost a year old. That's pretty typical. Babies will get teeth between six and 12 months. Usually the first two teeth to come in will be the bottom front two and then the top front two. Most babies will have all their teeth by the age of three. She's got four on top, four on bottom, and then she's, all four molars are coming in. One's like all the way in, and then the other three are. <laughs> the bottom two came first, then the top two, and then the two on each side. You got a messy face. Um, like at one point she had all four of her teeth and one, they just popped out one after another. And so that one was really rough. And you said she was your hardest teether. Because she doesn't sleep when she's teething. When she's like actively cutting teeth and her gums are like swollen, she does not sleep at all. Hello darkness, my old friend. Spit happens whether babies are teething or not, but it often increases when they're in an active teething phase. When gums are swollen and it's harder to get relief, they produce more drool. And my chubby babies would get a ring of drool and lint in their neck folds that would sometimes cause rashes. <laughs> and she would get a lot of like rashes because drool gives you rashes if you leave, if you leave it on there. Mm -hmm. So she would have like really red marks all the way down and like I'd just wipe it up and make sure that it was you know, not too crazy. It's a lot of drool, a lot of like, she would get like red cheeks. So I'm like, oh, it's coming soon. And I would feel, and I'm like, no, no teeth. Yeah, babies slobber a lot and that doesn't